very weird. I'm going to go upstairs here and show you what I mean. So right here, if you look up there, it says child's room, 20 meters squared. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, we are back, and today we're on to our first house with over 200 square meters in it, two floors. So I'm very, very excited because we're going to have uh, some stairs to deal with again here. Be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see what this house is all about. All right, looking good from the outside. Uh, looks like we're going to have a lot of painting to do, some cleaning. Uh, ooh, a tub. Very, very nice. It's $161,000. All right, let's just go ahead and jump right in here and buy this house. I want to make sure to say that I hope you guys are having a great day. My day is going quite well, and I hope you enjoy this episode. All right, very, very exciting. Uh, I, let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys in when we arrive at the house because it's going to take a little bit with our usual slowness of, uh, yeah, the stuff loading. So I'll be right back. We have arrived at our brand new house. Uh, it's a little jittery. Uh, like I said in the last episode, the graphic settings haven't been saving right now, so... Just gonna do that, like so, and woohoo! Now it's a little bit better. Let's just, uh, yeah, dispose of this stuff outside real quick before we hop inside and see what things are about. It's still a little stuttery, which is weird. All right, let's open the door. Oh, it's a giant mess of dirt and stuff everywhere. Ooh, nice big garage. That is for sure. Let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking off the doors here. Ooh, that leads right into a living room. This is the first one with two doors to the, uh, to the garage. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, up, uh, zerp. Zerp, zerp, zerp. I'm gonna leave the front door on. Just gonna open it that way, though, so it's out of the way. Just like this. Okay, so we have a bathroom. We have, oh, the kitchen's right here. That's interesting. I wonder we might want to take that wall out. We'll see where it leads. Is that a bedroom? Okay, this is another like family room type area. So this might be perfect for that family. We will uh, we'll see though. This is another living room type area. So we might just turn this into another bedroom. We will check it out though. Let's see. Where do you lead? Up, oh, you lead out to the backyard. We'll, uh, let's see. I think we'll just leave this door as well. Leave the exterior, guys, because sometimes it's going to be difficult to try to place an exterior door. Okay, let's head upstairs, shall we? Oh, this is like a broom closet. Uh, yeah, just trying to see if there's... This could be a bathroom, but it doesn't have bathroom connections, so just a very, very tiny room. Okay, we got another bedroom. And, oh, this looks like a child's room. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see, what do we got in here? Okay, another bathroom. Just like this. So, just trying to think here. We have this room, so one bedroom. Two bedroom. This could be a small, very, very small bedroom. So three and possibly four. So just thinking if we're going to make it for the family, that we have a room for the grandmother, the parents, and all three kids. Which, I think there's two boys and one girl. So, maybe we... I, I'm not sure what we'll do about the rooms. Maybe this will be Grandma's room. I know it's small, but, I mean, what are you going to do? This would definitely be good for 
the parents room this is a pretty big room so we'll make this the the boys room and the girl is older so we could probably just make her room down here I'm actually thinking maybe this will be the grandma's room just because uh, it would be weird to have a kid down on the bottom floor away from the parents so yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up everything get stuff painted probably jump into a speedy up bid for you guys and uh, yeah I'll bring you guys back when ready to start putting some stuff in get all the rooms ready so let's get started Alright, we're back. So, uh, I've gotten most of it done here. There's just some things that I wanted to talk with you guys about because I've been having some trouble. So, yeah, very weird. I'm going to go upstairs here and show you what I mean. So, right here, if you look up there, it says child's room, 20 meters squared. I have these beds in here, planning it for the two boys. Got desks in here because I, I was trying to shoot for that big family. And, and they always say that they want uh, they want enough desks for both uh, or all three of the kids. So we have the two desks in here for the two kids in here. Then we have this smaller room for another kid. And I put exactly the same stuff inside of here when it comes to toys and the same bed and desk and all of that. I haven't put in the same painting just to kind of see if it would do anything. And it says bedroom. It doesn't say it's a child's bedroom. I don't know why there's toys all over and everything and it's not counting I think if this room counted as a child's bedroom they would actually move to the top of the list but I uh, yeah I'm kind of running low on time so I'm tired of trying to figure it out so if you guys could help me out and try to let me know what uh, what really defines a child's bedroom because I would think that this would do it maybe it's too small I don't know but yeah, 
I don't really want to move things around and take this other room that I have as the grandmother's room and turn it into a child's room right now. It would uh, kind of be a little bit of work. So here's the living room area, which is pretty nice. We got a desk in here, a nice areas for everyone to sit and relax. I didn't do much with the garage, just kind of painted it because garages don't really count as anything. Let's see, our bathrooms. My usual beautiful design, this kitchen, which I left most of the original stuff in here because it looked really good. Yes, yes, yes. Just showing you guys around here a bit. I could probably turn lights on to help a touch just so you can see better. Hit that light switch in the hallway. I know it's a little bit jittery. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. It can't be helped sometimes. It's just uh, the way of games. Okay, you were there. Such a beautiful room, but it's not considered a kid's room. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can get for it. I don't know if we're going to make that good of a profit, but I am really hopeful. I wish I could spend some more time on it, but I've already been spending, like, well, uh, probably a good two, two and a half hours. We will see here momentarily i just want to take let's see a quick photo out here or two this one with the the tree is kind of nice if i do this just like that tree in the foreground that's cool okay well let's see what we can get for this house all right two hours three minutes okay not a whole bunch but let's see Yes, yes, yes. 11 rooms and the first floor. We bought it for 161000 Let's see what we can get. The first one will be a good estimate. Okay, 216 So we should do quite well. It would be nice if we got to 100 k profit. So crossing fingers, guys, we can do it. I want to see what the family's complaint is when it comes up to them. All right, all right. Yes, I know, you're complaining about your masculinity. I think everybody complains about your masculinity. There's no there's no big family room. Seriously, there's a huge family room. Shush. I, that can't be your only complaint. Yeah, we have a living room. Wow, I don't get them sometimes. Like, that room even says it's a living room. Anyway, let's negotiate. Put you there, negotiate, and please, 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 yeah, all right, we can accept your proposal. So, $130,000. I uh, I don't think we're going to hit a million, but I want to make sure to go to the office and see exactly how much money we do have. So, I will accept that, and I will bring you guys back when the office has loaded up. All right, we've arrived at the office, and we have... Nine hundred and thirty three thousand dollars, which means in the next episode, I can imagine we will break over one million, which will be so exciting. We're going to have a big party because we will be a millionaire. So I hope you guys catch me in the next episode where we become a millionaire and we move on to one of the next biggest houses and we're going to try to get that family that big family again I'm gonna keep shooting for them because all these big houses will definitely be something to shoot for with them so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of house flipper don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe so you miss out on all the daily videos hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always don't forget to Live long and prosper!